Hey, welcome back. So we should practice some Lewis structures. I'm going to give you three here. Uh, I'm going to start off with CO2. And uh, actually, I'm going to start off with uh, SO2 maybe first. And then CO2. And then the last one we're going to do is CO. And uh, I think these are sort of roughly in order of difficulty. So what you might want to do is pause the video and have a go at these. And, uh, and then you can unpause it and come back. In fact, we'll just do one at a time. So have a go at during SO2. And if you get stuck, don't worry about it. Just unpause it and we'll go through it together. Okay, so I'm back. So let's do SO2. So the very first thing we'd want to do is count the number of electrons. So how many electrons? Uh, that's the group number. So sulfur is in group six. And so is oxygen, and we got to take into account there's two oxygens, so that's a total of 18 valence electrons, not total electrons, just the valence ones. So we start by drawing the skeleton. We've got one sulfur, we've got two oxygens, so we put the single atom in the center and the multiple atoms around the outside, and we draw the skeleton by drawing a line in between, and every time we draw a line, we use up two electrons, so two lines or two bonds there uses up a total of four electrons giving me with 14 electrons left. And then we gotta do our pixie dust thing. So we gotta scatter the electrons around. Do you remember the outer or the inner atoms first? Yeah, it's the outer atoms first until they got an octet. So that oxygen right now has got two electrons around it. It needs to have a total of eight, right? Only hydrogen or helium needs two. So uh, they're almost all gonna be octets, it turns out. So uh, what do we have here? We got two here, we need six more to get us up to eight, and it's symmetrical on the other side. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, keep them in pairs, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it's got a total of eight electrons around it here and eight electrons around it here. And how many have we just used up? Uh, we've used six on each side, so that's 12. That gives me with two remaining electrons. And those two remaining electrons, uh, I just throw, you know, pixie dust onto the center atom. And uh, that, I believe, runs us out of electrons. So the bottom line here is there's nothing left. So is it a valid Lewis structure? Well, it would be if that center atom had eight, but right now it's only got two, four, six, right? It's got a bond, a bond, a lone pair. So a bonding pair, a bonding pair, a lone pair. So it needs two more. And you might just say, well, I'll just quickly put two more down there. Well, that would work if you had two more. If it was SO2, two minus, you would actually have two more electrons that you could play with there. But since it's just SO2, then we have to account for those. And the way we're gonna do that, right, is we're gonna take two, and uh, from a lone pair on an adjacent atom, and we're gonna move it and share it in between. And how do you know which side? And the answer is you don't. You can pick any side you like as long as it's the correct side. So if you're a lefty or a righty, it is completely up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick from the left. And so now that lone pair right is making a double bond. So before it was just one pair shared, now it's two. So that would be a double bond. So presumably that would be twice as strong as that side. This side would be shorter. This side would be uh, longer and weaker. Now, if you take the majors level chemistry, we'll discuss this molecule a little more. Uh, and uh, if you're watching a general chemistry class, there's a little bit more to it than this. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and say this is a totally valid Lewis structure. Hey, let me ask you, do I need to put this in square brackets and a charge? And the answer is no, because it's not an ion. If it was an ion, I'd have to do it. So let's go ahead and move on to CO2 now. Hey, so we're gonna look at carbon dioxide now, so CO2. Carbon is in group four, oxygen is in group six, and we've got two of them, so four plus two sixes, so two sixes are 12, plus four is 16. All right, the skeleton structure, so we've got carbon, and we got one of them, we got oxygen, we got two of them, so we'll put those on the outside, and it would be three naked atoms, so we gotta join them together, and uh, each bond uses two electrons, so two bonds would use up four electrons, giving us 12 left. And then our pixie dust, right? We sprinkle the electrons around the molecule, but we always pick them on the outer atoms and then the inner atom. So uh, we've got to put them around the outer ones. Oh, and we got to remember, right, the octet rule. So we want eight electrons around everything but hydrogen. So oxygen is not hydrogen. Otherwise, we'd call it hydrogen. So there's two. We need another six around it, and they always go in pairs. And so one, two, three, four, five, six on one side, and it's the same thing on the other side. So that is six and six is 12. That's all the electrons we have. Is that a valid Lewis structure? Well, it would be if that center atom had eight electrons around it, but right now it's got two and two, that's only four. So it's actually coming up 
four short, right? If it's got four and it needs eight, we need to add another four. So now here's the question. We can get four electrons three different ways. We can take two and two, so we can take all four from the left. We can take two and two, all four from the right. That's a tongue twister, all four. Or we can take two from the left and two from the right. So which would you prefer? And the answer is actually, it's one from each side or one pair from each side. But in reality, you could write it either way and I would give you full credit on the exam. But we do try and keep this symmetrical. So uh, if, to, if it's gonna be symmetrical, it probably makes sense we take uh, from equal sides. And let's see, so what does that do? That makes it a double bond there and a double bond on the other side. And it looks something like that. So we've got, uh, why did we do that? Well, now around this carbon, we got two and two. There's four electrons there. We just look directly around. Although there's electrons over here, we just look what they're directly attached to the carbon. So two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Carbon dioxide, woo, so uh, very cool. So we got eight around here still. We got eight around here and we got eight around here. So this is a very happy molecule. It's not an ion. We don't need to worry about square brackets. Oh, should have done an ion, right? So let's move on to the third and last example. So our third and last one, it's actually kind of a tricky one. And this is one that I think if you don't use the rules, it's really easy to mess up on. So carbon monoxide, so carbon four, oxygen group six, that's a total of 10. And here's one where the rules kind of fail us. So we need a skeleton structure. We know we put one atom in the middle and the other one on the outside. And uh, the one nice thing about CO is that it really doesn't matter what you call the center and what you call the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this carbon here is the center and the other atom, the oxygen, is the outside. And uh, it's kind of silly, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it that. So now I'm gonna make my skeleton complete by drawing in my bone. That is two electrons there, right? That gives me eight electrons left. And remember, right, we put the electrons around the outer atoms before the inner to give their octets a chance to fill up. So uh, we've got two electrons around the outer oxygen. So right there, and we need another six. So we go ahead and we put three pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we gotta keep tally, so that's two left. And all remaining electrons go in the center, and there's only two, okay? So we're all out of electrons now. Is that a valid Lewis structure? No, okay, so the oxygen here has got eight. The carbon here has only got one, two, three, four. So it needs how many more? That's right, it needs two more. And uh, where's it gonna get them from, right? So it is gonna steal them. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal in blue. I'm gonna go ahead and take a pair and a pair and put them like that. So now that lone pair is there. Instead of that single bond, it's actually a triple bond, so pretty strong bond right there. And then there's my oxygen on the other side. And so that is carbon monoxide. So that is the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, you wanna try one more? So I hadn't planned to do a bonus one, but okay, since you are so nice, I'm gonna do a bonus one here. And maybe I'll let you try it. So NO2 minus is the do you remember what polyatomic ion that is? Yeah, it's the nitrite ion. So nitrate is the regular one. We remove an oxygen, it becomes nitrite. We change that ending to ITE. But anyway, I digress. Can you draw a Lewis structure for this one? And uh, I will only tell you, you know, it is an ion. So remember that very last rule, right, with the square brackets apply. So have a go, pause the video, and let's compare notes. Okay. I am back. So we need to count the valence electrons. Nitrogen is in group five. Oxygen is in group six. There are two oxygens. And uh -oh, we got a negative charge. So remember, for negatives, we add one because electrons are negative. Every time we need a negative, we have to gain an electron. That gives us a total of 18 valence electrons here. We're going to go ahead and we've got two oxygens. So we're going to put the oxygens on the outside and one nitrogen on the inside, and we are gonna use up four electrons because we made two double bonds. Those 14 electrons that are left, right, we're gonna complete the octets on the outer ones, so the outer ones had two electrons around them, so they need six more, and it's symmetrical, so that means that once I do it for one side, I can be lazy and do it for the other. That uses up six and six, so that's 12 down, two to go. All remaining electrons go on the center atom, 
and uh, I would love to have a couple more electrons here because that center atom only has one, two, three, four, five, six. It really needs eight. And so I can fix this by just stealing. And I'm going to steal from the left. And it doesn't really matter. You can steal from the left or the right. So that's going to change that into a double bond on one side and a single bond on the other. And that is actually not quite a valid Lewis structure. And the reason it's not quite valid, you, do you see the problem? Yep, so we need to put it in square brackets because it's an ion and we need to write the charge next to it. So that would be the final answer here. Good job.